All right, lads, so today we're going to be reviewing second in form Alan Zagoev, 5 foot 10 tall, right footed, he's got medium, medium work rates, 3 star weak foot, and 4 star skills. Looking at his in games, he stands out to his 89 vision, 88 penalties, 86 reactions, 85 free kick accuracy, and 85 ball control. We have also included all the upgrades over his first informed version as a comparison for you. So you can see each individual stat increase of all of his stats. So you're going to pause it now if you want a close look at any of them. So this is the team we were using second inform Zegwev in. A 4 one 2 one 2 Russian league team with Zegwev up at Cam. So now to gameplay so you can see how it was performing. So this is obviously Zegwev's second inform card. And this time in the middle instead of the left wing which is a lot better for me. But he's not doing anyone any favours at CDM as his card comes out of the packs. Uh, I know he may have played there but he does have poor defensive stats. There's no way he should cope as a CDM. So the first thing you should do when you get Zegwev is convert him up to a cam as we did. Luckily he is great going forward. Now his sprint speed is only average it's only 71 which is quite surprising with his pace but does have a great 84 acceleration which I do prefer I'd rather have a, a faster accelerating player because I like to dribble a lot for bursting away from the defenders when you're exiting your skills uh, he does have his four star skills as well by the way and on your skill dribbles as well you want to get that bit of a burst of speed to get the advantage over the defender and he does have good dribbling on him 83 dribbling now his agility and a balance they're high on the average but still does feel decent on the ball, still good enough on the dribble, and he's great at getting through the defenders. As you've seen in the clips, a lot of the times he was using his dribbling to get through on, on the goal. And he can also open up defences with his passing as well. Has got some decent passing stats. And he does have 89 vision as well. So he did come up with some great passes and assists for our team. With that 89 vision, he can be picking out some uh, great through balls for your strikers. And he did step up in front of goal as well. Did grab his first share of goals, especially for a midfielder. Does have good shot power on him. And did have a great goal return from Cam. Averaging over a goal a game from Cam cracking return from him did even manage a header as well at the far post late run to the far post from a move he did actually start with his uh, dribbling and passing in the midfield trots up gets back gets to the back post and finishes the move on his head so a great player uh, in second in form Zagwev does make a great camp with his dribbling passing and his decent shot as well everything you need to make a cracking little cam but did put in some cracking performances for us in our Russian league team so let's have a look at second inform Zagwev's performance stats. So in six games, he did manage seven goals and get two assists. All of his stats are on the left. All his goals are on the right. And the position map shows you where his goals were scored and his assists were created as well. So overall, we're giving second inform Zagwev a good eight out of ten. Really great as a cam. Obviously, you'll have to convert him up from a CDM. Coming out of packs as a CDM, obviously, he's not going to do a good job. As we said, the poor defensive stats convert him straight away up to a cam. Good on the ball, great creatively, and can get you the goals from midfield as well. As you've seen in the clips, 7 in 6 is a great return from a cam and chipping in with a couple assists as well. So, did average over a goal a game. And he does have good acceleration and his four star skills to help him get through them defences. Great at getting himself through the defensive for a, for a chance on goal. So finally, we're just going to leave you with second form Zagweb's positives and negatives for you to look at. Now his price range is only 15 to 27k. I did manage to pick him up for 16k. This was on release night as well, so he's going to be cheap. He's probably going to be uh, dropped in the price ranges as well. So if you want to wait, it's up to you. But I'd suggest 15k is a great price for him. For the performances he did give us, I uh, highly recommend you do try him out. But only as a cam. Do not try him in the CDM role. Uh, he just will not cope there. As we, as we keep saying, his defensive stats are poor. So don't even bother trying him at CDM. Definitely, definitely do convert him up. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please leave a like. It does help out a lot. We try to do the most in-depth reviews as we can on YouTube. Please subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. Loads more to check out on the channel. Loads more to come as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Cheers, lads. See you later.